challenging weather on the way later this week too, right, Julie? Yeah, we have that fire weather watch in effect Wednesday through Friday, and you can already really kind of feel the change in the air. It's certainly warmer. We're up about five degrees today over this time yesterday. In fact, let's take a live look outside. Uh, here's another pleasant change, at least over what we've seen the last couple of weeks. We have pretty good air quality. This is our Mount Diablo camera, and yeah, there's a little bit of haze out there, um, but certainly not the kind of air quality, not the kind of smoke that we've seen uh, over the last couple of weeks. Temperature wise, we are well above average. Okay, so here's our current temperature right now 88 Sacramento, 87 in Stockton. Normal this time of year is 80 degrees. We're at 85 in Modesto, 86 in Marysville. And humidity, 18%. We are going to see much lower humidities as we move on to the second half of the week. Right now, winds light north northwest about eight miles per hour. We're going to see those winds kick up as well. As I mentioned, at this hour, we are already up anywhere from four to five degrees in the valley, up six degrees in Fairfield, up four degrees in the high country at this hour over this time yesterday. The beginning of a warming trend that will peak as we head on into the weekend because of this. Right now, our ridge is relatively flat because we get those short waves to our north. But as we back into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week, we start to see this ridge build. As it builds, we see our temperatures increase. We see this gradient tighten, and that's going to help to increase those winds out of the north and the east. So fire weather watch in effect Wednesday through Friday. We're looking at north and east winds at 25 miles per hour gusts. 35 miles per hour uh, in the valley. We could see much higher gusts so locally. Uh, so we are going to be mindful of that. And there is a warning for a public safety power shutoff Wednesday through Friday. Wednesday, Thursday looking to be uh, the higher wind speeds, at least right now. And again, that humidity staying low at 10 to 15 percent. So you have all those dry fuels out there. You have low humidity during the day, poor recoveries overnight. All of that makes for fire weather. In the meantime, we do have a relatively comfortable night overnight tonight. Bay Area uh, light winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour to the west, and we're seeing uh, temperatures in the 50s tomorrow. Warming up into the upper 70s uh, by the Bay, low 90s for Concord, Livermore 92 and Hollister. Heading inland to the valley overnight tonight, we'll see temperatures uh, in the low 50s, pretty much area wide. Winds out of the north tomorrow about 10 miles per hour. Temperatures warming up a good 7 degrees above normal for this time of year. 87 in Sacramento, 87 Seven Lodi and Stockton as well. Uh, Granite Bay, Folsom for you, upper 80s. Foothills, lows overnight tonight in the upper 50s to low 60s, pretty much area wide. Tomorrow, we'll see temperatures warming into the low 80s for the warmer spots, some upper 70s there, places like Pollock Pines, 83 in Auburn, 81 in Grass Valley. Sierra lows overnight, downright freezing for Truckee and Tahoe. 40s for Quincy, Chester, and Portola. Tomorrow, though, warming up uh, near 80 degrees for Quincy, Portola, uh, 70s for Truckee, and uh, 82 in Reno tomorrow. Seven day forecast showing a bit of something for everyone here. So we've got upper 80s tomorrow, sort of our transition day, well above average, low 90s, and that fire weather uh, for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Again, breezy, gusty conditions Wednesday through Friday. Friday. Saturday, things start to get a little better wind wise. Sunday, Monday, temperatures start to trend down closer to where we should be this time of year by the beginning of next week. Elizabeth?